question is uh, what, what it's my opinion on the state's decision to move into phase one tomorrow. Um, and then there was another question about uh, the uncertainty around the data given the inclusion of antibody testing. Um, you know, I, I think that obviously every community has its own context and that's why it has been really important for us to look at our local data. From the state's perspective, I, I think they're making good data-driven dr decisions uh, for what uh, you, you know, for the, for the lens that they're looking at as a state. I think there's also been a lot of flexibility they provided uh, to uh, local communities to potentially make different decisions. And our hope is that based on our look at our local data here in the city, uh, that they will give us the, uh, the ability to, to be a little bit slower and a little bit more cautious about entering phase one here in the city of Richmond. On the note about antibody testing, I, I, I've seen, I've seen the, the comments. I don't fully understand. What I, what I last heard from our epidemiologist is that we are including antibody testing for only antibody tests that have received FDA authorization, which is a pretty legitimate uh, w way to, to make that decision. And then, so that would, that's the denominator side, the total number of tests that are offered. On the numerator side, we are considering if you tested positive for an antibody test and then you have clinical symptoms that would put you into the category of a probable case, uh, we're including those, those cases as probable cases. So when you look on, at the data, you'll see confirmed cases and probable cases. So testing positive for antibodies and having clinical symptoms would, would be a probable case. Again, I think that's a really reasonable way to, to look at the data and to, to include people who might actually have this.